Earlier this month, we brought you the story of Denise Broden, a lifelong Central New Yorker. She nearly died after contracting the Tripoli virus last July. She believes she was bit somewhere near her home. Today, she was proud to welcome her local county legislator to her home for a big announcement. With the funding for a second sprain available, the Onondaga County Department of Health will continue to monitor uh, the mosquito pools to determine when a second application is necessary. A second aerial spray. Legislator Burtis says it would cost taxpayers around $42,000, and he plans to ask for the health committee to release those funds tomorrow. Lisa Letney with the Onondaga County Health Department says the additional money may be needed. Um, the season's probably going to end up with more um, mosquitoes than, no than we did last year just because it's so wet. Others in Denise's neighborhood have been living in the wet conditions all summer. Denise lives in an area of Cicero that was sprayed Friday evening. That's her tan truck sitting in the driveway. But right down the street, right over here, is where Roxanne lives. And she says she was concerned about what she saw after the spraying took place. The next day, at night, they seem to be a little more, little small, and a little more aggressive, the mosquitoes. She hopes a second sprain will calm all the mosquito activity down. The point is to try to interrupt that virus cycle. The mosquitoes obviously have virus in them. Knock them down, try to interrupt the virus cycle, so perhaps we end up with less virus than we could potentially have. And in the end, Roxanne hopes all remain safe, so nobody else suffers through the illness like Denise did. In Cicero, Brett Hall reporting.